Hi guys, I'm filming this video in bed because I had to get up at 8 a.m. this well no, I got up at like 6 a.m. to be ready and get to my doctor's appointment at 8 a.m. Um, what they were going to do today was the endometrial biopsy, the um, antral follicle count, and a whole bunch of blood work just to basically diagnose me with uh, PCOS and to um, check my glucose levels and all that stuff um, just so we could get moving forward to the next step for um, my infertility treatment, which will be uh, 100 milligrams of Clomid. Um, so the biopsy. Ugh. That was interesting for sure. Um, I was very nervous about it. I Googled it. I should not have Googled it. Don't do it. But if you're on this video, you already have. <laughs> so basically what it is is they, you know, pry your... Uh, vagina open and that is so they can then stick like a little tube in there so um, it works like a suction like you know like so they pull something out of the tube to create suction and then they just kind of run across your uterus and they get like a sample of like blood and lining and all that good stuff um, if you're lucky they only have to do it once but the first time they did it, it didn't, not a lot came out, so they had to do it again. And it just feels like really sharp, intense cramps. Um, so it's uncomfortable once it goes in, but then they go really deep in there. And once they start, you feel her like kind of sucking it out little by little. And it's like oof, really big cramps. Um... Once you're done, you're fine, but then it's uncomfortable because, you know, I, it wasn't comfortable for me because I had the ultrasound um, afterwards, and so they, you know, put lubricant on the little tube that goes in there, and so when they took it out, I had, like, lube in there, and then it was, like, the, you do spot for a little bit after you do the uh, endometrial biopsy so it's like that and I had I brought pads so I definitely recommend bringing pads with you I'm sure that your doctor's office will have some to offer you if you don't have any but I just brought my own um it wasn't that bad it wasn't insane um afterwards I did feel a little queasy like a little nauseous from the cramps um but I guess the best way I can relate it to is when you're on your period and you get really bad cramps where you feel you have to like poop like, that's really what it feels like is just like an uncomfortable feeling like you have to go like poop and just lay down and stuff so just breathe through it um my husband was there with me so he held my hand through it um you know he just kept reminding me to breathe and to relax and um he, it was really comforting, so if you do have a partner, I definitely recommend you bring them along with you just uh, to ease the anxiety um, and to kind of, like, talk you through it. Um, but overall, it's not bad. Um, it is currently 10.05 a.m., and I had this done around 8.30, maybe, um, I'm feeling a lot better. Um, I think now I'm just, it's just exhaustion. <laughs> I'm just tired. I didn't get very much sleep last night. So yeah, overall, um, it's definitely worth the end result. So, um, what they're checking for basically for me is to make sure that my uterus lining is not, uh, cancerous, that I don't have anything cancerous in there since I am so abnormal. Um, Overall, it was a good visit. We got a lot done. Um, I'm excited to begin taking uh, my Provera to bring my period. And then once my period starts, um, I'm going to call the doctor's office. And they're going to schedule an appointment for me. And then that's when they're going to start me on the Clomid. And I'm hoping I can luck out and 
it'll only take, you know, one or a few um, rounds of Clomid uh, to finally, you know, be expecting. But um, yeah, it's definitely the first step. It's worth it. It's an uncomfortable feeling when you're getting all these things done and, you know, you have doctors and nurses, you know, poking and prodding you and, you know, looking down in sensitive areas but um it's all worth it in the end and um you just have to keep reminding yourself of that and um just just be a warrior and you can do it (laughs) and um like i said it's it's worth it uh the pain doesn't last um i'm fine now my cramps are gone um i also did take a tylenol about 20 minutes before my appointment time um so that was you know that I think it helped a lot it it kicked in about an hour after so um if you can take it sooner than that like maybe uh 40 minutes before your appointment time I'd recommend it um take Tylenol do not take ibuprofen or aspirin um or esamphetamine because or no don't take ibuprofen Um, so just stick to Tylenol or Naproxen because the other one like aspirin, Advil, and Aleve, those are blood thinners. And since you are, um, well for me, I was getting blood drawn and also with the endometrial biopsy, you do bleed a little, you spot a little afterwards. So if you do take a blood thinner, it's just going to, it's just going to be worse for you because you're going to be bleeding longer, um, and you're going to prolong that uh, healing process for your uterus. So just stay away from those. I recommend just Tylenol um, or any over-the-counter. Um, I think that's esamphetamine. Um, so, yeah. Um, overall, good visit. Yes. Uh, I don't know. I'll keep you guys posted. I'm not very good at this. I'm just starting um, filming. So it's really weird for me to be all TMI about it, but I know that infertility is definitely something that is overlooked, um, and I struggled a lot with accepting it, and it used to be, like, a little secret, like, it had to be, you know, kept hush-hush, and you didn't really ever talk about it, and it was, like, you know, it made you uncomfortable, it made other people uncomfortable, like, but coming to terms with it and accepting it and loving who you are and knowing that, you know, it's okay, um, to need help. Uh, it's completely changed my viewpoint. It's completely put less stress on my, my body and my mind. So that's why I'm, uh, making these super awkward (laughs) videos. Um, so for anyone who's also struggling with this, they can, you know, have some questions answered and um see that it's not just cutesy perfect little youtube couples (laughs) that do it um people with cell phones recording and laying in bed because they're exhausted and real life you know real life people with full-time jobs and crazy schedules and yeah (laughs) um it's i you know infertility just sucks and so together we can kick its ass woo okay well have a wonderful day and